okay so uh, <clears throat> we'll discuss a few functions today uh, of course very easy functions but then pretty useful and and is required all the time when you are using excel so uh, the functions that we'll discuss today are row and then you have rows column col columns is blank is error and if error <clears throat> so let's first look at what is the row function if I type row okay and then give a reference for example if I write a1 it gives me the row number of the cell a1 which is 1 right now if I change this to let's say a10 I'll get the row number of a10 which is, which is <clears throat> 10 uh, similarly you have column right so write column a1 okay and if you do that you'll get the column number of a1 which is again 1 or else what you can do is you can write let's say or or you know if you go back to the same one and write let's say <coughs> let's say m 10 okay m, m, m 10 which means the column number of of uh, uh, the cell m10 which is 13 which means the basically the, the, the position of m in the English alphabet okay now let's look at rows if I write rows rows is expecting an array so if I give this array here rows function will return the number of rows in this array so if you now see this I have one two three four five six seven rows so I get the answer as seven so now I'm sure you have guessed what is the what the columns return so if I now go and I give this as my array then I get the answer 5 which means there are 5 columns in this array 1 2 3 4 5 ok now let's look at uh, one interesting application of <coughs> array uh, of, of the row function now if I write row now I've seen what happens if I enter a1 or a10 or b1 b10 right? now what happens if I give it an array a1 to a10 okay now if I select this and press F9 I see serial numbers 1 2 3 4 all the way to 10 so you can give arrays to row and depending on what you have given it will create a serial number so it's pretty uh, in a, a useful uh, application of uh, <coughs> the row function so if you now give E11 to let's say E25 uh, correct and if you just go and press F9 as you can see <coughs> it creates the a running serial number from 11 to 25 okay now let's look at a few more functions uh, is blank is blank as the name suggests checks if there is a blank cell for example you know if I say is blank n9 okay and press enter it says true which means n9 is a blank cell right now if I type something here it becomes false <clears throat> so you can use is blank to test whether a particular cell is a is a blank <laughs> is a blank cell okay now we we'll look at quickly two more uh, functions is error and if error okay now let's say I, I uh, you know, uh, write equals 45 divided by 0 which is obviously an error right so I get this error which is a uh, you know, which is what you get if you divide by 0 now here if I write is error function is error function if the cell has an error I get a true right 
then if this hill does not have if there is no error then I get a false so here if I point it to M8 where I have a number it says false whereas if I point it to the cell where I have an error it says true now let's say you want to provide uh, some error message if there is an error so you get if error right and then maybe you know give the user or tell the user that you have an error so <clears throat> error in cell correct so it says error in cell so it gets an error it says gives the uh, message